Hey folks, we are doing a sort of quasi q and I'm actually throwing in one thing that I just wanted to talk about a little more. Um, but these two things are pretty, pretty important. Uh, first one deals with, from an indirect perspective, the climate situation. Many of you probably heard that Greta Thunberg was arrested yesterday. It was completely staged. Everything about this was staged. It was a photo op. This is all part of the plot, all part of the plan. It's a big club and we're not in it. Remember, um, this entire situation is uh, basically bad science propped up by theater. And that's exactly what we had happen yesterday. And so if you didn't hear about this, they're pushing this on the news like crazy. Um, and it was completely fake. Everything about it was fake. Um, just something to remember when, uh, when you're watching the news, which is mostly fake anyway. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, a lot of you guys are asking about, hey, did the magnetic pole shift stop and start to go back the other way? Hello, new viewer. Um, you must not have been around in past years when that same individual played this same con half a dozen times or more. You must not have been around several months ago or any of the times subsequent to that that we brought up exactly why th what he's saying makes no sense. Um, I'm gonna try to do this without mentioning his name, although it uh, might be hard. But if you happen to see it, this is what you saw uh, in one of his videos. He's the guy claiming that when the magnetic pole hits the 40 degree mark, it's just gonna shoot down and everything's gonna happen really quickly. And I have thoroughly and repeatedly debunked that. The first time he pulled this con about a decade ago, um, I tried to do it kindly and he began trolling my channel like crazy. His channel is reloaded because after the first six times he pulled this con, people started to wake up and realize, wait a minute, this guy is just doing the same thing over and over again and he's never correct. Um, and so he had to shut his channel down and then reload it. I remember when I made this video about the 40 degree nonsense, I debunked all the science. Um, there were several individuals who, one, were just so ego hurt and they refused to even look into anything I said. Um, and when they would send me emails or even sometimes in the comments section, I, I told them, probably told two or three dozen of you guys who I hope are watching now, I said, watch. Somewhere between six and 12 weeks before his end date, he's gonna come up with some reason why things are going the other way or it's not gonna happen when he originally said. And here we go. Here he is now saying, oh, no, no, no. The magnetic field somehow just stopped and it's actually starting to go the other way a little bit. The problem is the magnetic field's not where he was saying it was the past several months. None of our GPS would work. It is not 100,000 pilots in the world in on some secret thing. You can't even begin to imagine how many earthquakes, how many volcanoes, and how different the weather would be if those magnetic pole positions were correct. They were simply lies. There is not an actual observatory that this individual has or is using. There is no truth to any of the stuff he is saying. And just like the last, however many times he has done this over the last decade, once again, here we are a couple weeks away from his supposed major date. And oh, here's a reason why it's not going to happen when I said it's going to happen. And for those of you who are wondering why I'm not taking as respectful approach as I did to the Creative Society in yesterday's video, it's because again, I said, I tried to do this the respectful way the first three times. He told everyone, we're just a couple weeks or a couple months away from the magnetic poles really flipping. And he trolled the bejesus out of me every time. Luckily, he can't really do that anymore because, uh, well, he lost all of his subscribers once and my channels kept growing and trolling me is not a fantastic idea, which he also learned. And so no, I will not treat him like I treated the Creative Society last night um, because he's a con artist, plain and simple. And here we are once again, 
just a couple weeks away, finding a way to extend the timeline and extend the timeline. Just like I told so many of you he would. There's something especially devious about taking something so real and so dangerous, which is the situation that we're in with the magnetic pole shifting and the magnetosphere weakening and everything else that's happening throughout the solar system and is going to happen on this planet and the sun and twisting it in such a way to create extra fear, extra anxiety, extra imminence to the disaster so as to just repeatedly beg people for donations and beg people for donations. It's taking something that should be the most talked about thing in the world right now and using it for a very dishonest purpose and in a dishonest way. And that's one of the troubles with this. I've seen this from a lot of other channels, although nobody as prolifically as him. We're, we're stuck right in between charlatans and the mainstream media diverting us to something else or just straight up ignoring or lying about these things. And that makes this a very difficult place to be, all of us observers. Because you got on one side people saying this whole this whole topic is nonsense. Then on the other side, you you have people saying, oh no, this is like on our doorstep. It is right here, ready to take us out right now. And we're stuck here in the middle. And from both sides, there's no there's no agreement here in the middle. People have a tough time seeing this. But what I can tell you is whether you're looking at COVID, whether you're looking at things like Agenda 21 or Agenda 2030, whether you're looking at uh, whether or not humans are impacting the climate or whether there's a climate emergency. The answer, the truth, is almost always found between mainstream lies and the most extreme conspiracy theorists you can find. Somewhere in the middle between those is where I have unequivocally always, 100% of the time, found the truth. Here we go again, and somehow the magnetic field has stopped and is going back the other way. Anyway, if you're not following me on Twitter, by the way, Elon Musk's Twitter 2.0 is one heck of a place. I don't care what experience you had before. If you're permabanned, just create a new account and start all over again. We are having a blast on Twitter. Link to my Twitter is down below. Uh, keep watching. We'll have all the real information for you here, and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show.